Hi, welcome back to Bachi's Corner. We're Bachi's Kitchen, my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I thought I would bring you along when I make my chicken and rice in my Dutch oven. Um, a few weeks ago, or I think it was a couple weeks ago, I did a flash food pickup with some chicken. And I picked up a four pack of chicken leg quarters. And they're a little over $2 for the entire package. I couldn't resist. So I took that out of the freezer and I'm gonna make that today. So let's get to it. So I, I took my chicken out of the freezer. It's been thawing out. So now I'm going to marinate it um, in my Ziploc bags. I didn't bring you along the last time I was marinating um, and this time I'm bringing you along while I marinate or while I do my marinade. I'm gonna use a pack of this Italian seasoning mix, one into each bag. Or maybe half. I'm doing a half. So I'm going to add some avocado oil into each bag. Just a glug, you'll see, not too much. I'm thinking that's a couple of tablespoons in each. I might need a little bit more, we'll see. putting some water in, cold water, just a little bit. And now I'm gonna do some vinegar, a glug. refrigerator until tomorrow and I'll bring you back uh, when I'm ready to cook so we are on the next day now I took my chicken out of the refrigerator that's been marinating in that Italian dressing marinade that we made yesterday <clears throat> well, we didn't really make it we just kind of threw everything in a bag with the chicken so I've got that out letting it come up to uh, get the chill out of it. I have a cup of rice with a cup of chicken broth that I didn't want to open up my home canned chicken broth for one cup so I made this out of um, chicken bouillon. I'm only using one cup instead of a cup and a half because I'm adding beans to my rice and it has liquid in here and this liquid is seasoned so I'm not going to drain and rinse. I'm actually going to use all the liquid that's in here because it's seasoned with uh, garlic salt. I got my two tablespoons of butter. I've got um, my four cloves of garlic. The, this is the garlic that I minced up and put in the, in the freezer so I took it out for thaw. I've got my favorite garlic flavored extra virgin olive oil um, by Man Mantova. I get this off of Amazon 
I can link this below. Um, I'm not sure if this is in any grocery stores or anything. So I'll link it below if you're interested. So I guess let's get to it. So the first thing I'm doing, you know, I'm preheating my pan on medium high. I've, I have my oven preheating to 375. I am going to start by adding just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and my two tablespoons of butter. Actually, one tablespoon of butter. I forgot I need the other tablespoon for when I do the rice. I don't know if I can <clears throat> back you up a little bit so you can see better. I am going to sear this for five minutes on each side. So it's almost time to flip it. The timer's about to go off. There it goes. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. So another five minutes. So just to reiterate, I did five minutes on each side. I don't know if you can see that. Set my timer again for five minutes. What do you think? Looking good. So while I still have about two minutes to go on that chicken, I just want to take some spinach and roughly chop it so I can add it to the dish. Back to this. Time to pull these off. Now I'm going to put that butter in.
I have my frozen onions for my onion preservation video. So I'm going to use these. If I can open it, it's frozen. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta warm it up with my hands. There we go. So I'm going to add my garlic also frozen from my garlic preservation video if that's how if that's what it's called preserving freezing preservation I don't know saving how's that saving my garlic <laughs> I think I'm also going to add my spinach at this time. I don't typically put spinach in here, but every time I make this, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I'm just doing what feels right. I'm gonna put the rest of this bag. I'm not gonna rough chop it. I just want to use it up before it goes bad. And it's still in very nice shape. So I'm just gonna stems and all. I'm not gonna de-stem anything. Oop. This is all this will all wilt down. Why not put it in now? There we go. The chicken bouillon. So let's put our Let's put our beans in at this point. I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah. The rice will absorb all the liquid. Hopefully. I always second guess myself. Did I put enough rice? Should I put a quarter more cup of rice? I never know what to do. All right, so let's put the chicken back in. Let's see if I can fit all these in nicely, snuggle them in. These are pretty big. There we go. We'll do it like that. I had an idea how I was going to fit these in. And it went out the door. 
these are ginormous. Maybe I can do it. There we go. Okay. Let's put the cover on and put it in the oven. Closer look. Let's see if I can get you closer. That's looking good. Maybe too saucy, but we'll see. It may thicken up a little bit more or dry out a little bit more now that I'm going to keep it in there for another 10, about 15 minutes, I think. 10, 15 minutes. Uncovered. At 375. Timer just went off. I just turn the oven off. Let's pull this out. Let's see what we got. Oh, looking good. What do we think? Let's take a temperature. I'm sure it's well over, look how that's cracking over here, it's well over 165. Do it on the inside of the thigh, or inside of the drumstick, right next to, near the bone. I'm not worried about it going even into the 200s because these are thighs and drumsticks. It's a quarter. So it's not going to... I don't think I've ever dried out a chicken thigh or a drumstick by overcooking it. So I'm just going to let this sit for now. I don't know, maybe for about five minutes. Just let everything settle before I move the chicken. Okay, I'm going to get it out of this pan. Put it on the cutting board. These are giant. These are really big. I'm thinking maybe I'll give the bit. I'll give the biggest ones to my to one of my sons for you know for their prep meal. And for me, I think I'm gonna try and separate the drumstick from the thigh for my meal prep. This, this is an awful lot of chicken. But look, it came out beautiful. Okay, let's see. Oh, this looks really nice. That looks very nice. Let me give it a quick taste. Oh my goodness, this is so tasty. It has so much flavor. I'm impressed. Every time actually every time I make this, I make it different. I I don't think I've made the same chicken and rice the same recipe twice. I wing it. Uh, I fly by the seat of my pants depending on what I have on hand and that's how I roll. <laughs> I will try my best to give you some sort of a recipe in my description box. Um, I will do my best. That's all I can say but you'll have to kind of um, I don't know, play with it according to what you like. So I'll probably end up doing another one of these, uh, same thing, chicken and rice, but a different style or 
you know, again, it's whatever I have on hand. Let's get to putting this into our meal prep containers and uh, we'll be done. But before I do anything, let's see if we can cut, separate this. I have my very nice knife that one of my sons bought me for last on last Mother's Day. I have it linked below. And it's I call it my razor knife because this cuts through just about anything, I think. Let's see. Ooh, it cut right through the bone. <laughs> Look at that, there's the bone. Not through the joint, but through the bone. That's perfect though. I'm so happy. There we go. Right through the bone again. Look at that. This knife is amazing. Thank you so much, Justin, if you're watching this. Really appreciate this. Love it. So now we can meal prep. I'm almost wondering, should I cut the other ones as well for my other for my son? I think I will. It'll probably fit the container better if I do. And it'll make it easier on him. So let's keep cutting. So as usual, I'm going to be measuring out the rice. Because I bulked it up with beans and other things. Beans and spinach. Spinach don't count. Beans. I think I'm going to do a cup into each container. This is a half a cup measure. So let's see what a cup looks like. Not exact, it's not perfect, but we get the idea. So now these smaller ones are for me. So I'm gonna do a half a cup. again for joining me in Bobchi's Corner and Bobchi's Kitchen, my kitchen. Well, I made a chicken and rice Dutch oven casserole meal prep. So I hope to see you soon. Until next time. <laughs>